Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Writer version 3 HMV tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 21. Inside this video guys, we are going to work over the delete functionality of each row of our data table. So if I back to browser, now in the, inside the last videos, this is the listing we have developed. Now inside this listing, we have a column called action. Inside this action column, we have two buttons. First is edit and second is delete. About the edit button functionality, we had completed in the last video. Now inside this video, we are going to work over the functionality of this delete button. It means that when we click on this delete button, it will take a confirmation about that. Are you sure want to delete? If we click on OK, then it will delete that specific row. So this is the functionality we need to develop inside this video. So if I back to code editor, now this is list hyphen books. This is the view file actually we are opening for the listing books. Now here we can find the delete button. Now instead of this null href, we are going to specify about the site URL. So let's say PHP, let's say echo, this should be something site URL and inside this we are going to specify about the delete route. So let's say book, let's say delete book and in that we are going to specify a parameter. It should be about book ID. On the behalf of this book ID actually, we are going to delete that. Now next, we have to declare this route inside this routes.php. So copy this route. Let's say route. D this is delete book and now we are going to specify about any parameter because as we know that we are going to pass about the book ID in the URL. So it will call about the book controller, let's say delete underscore book and here we need to pass the placeholder. This is dollar one. It is the placeholder about the first parameter or about the book ID what we are passing. So if I copy this method name back to our book controller and if I scroll to its footer and inside here let's say public function and this is all about delete book now inside this method actually we are receiving let's say book underscore id and by the help of this book id actually we are going to delete that so let's say if not empty it means that if we have some value of book id so here we need to get or delete that so firstly let's say this book underscore model and let's say delete book and inside this I'm going to pass the book ID so in the next we need to declare this method inside this model so copy this method name go to book model and if I scroll to footer so let's say public function and delete book and inside this delete book we have book id so let's say book underscore id and now we need to delete that and here inside this method let's say this db where and inside this where we want to check with this id column and this is all about our book underscore id now in the next let's say this db delete is a method and inside this we are going to pass our table name so tpl underscore books so it will automatically generate so finally i'm going to return that so it automatically generates the query something delete from tpl underscore books where let's say where id equal to what book id actually we are passing inside this method so this will be the finally generated query now after deleting we are returning the value so if i back to controller now i'm going to wrap this inside if else block so let's say if the return value it means that successfully we have deleted the book so here let's say deleted book else we are going to specify the else condition and inside this let's say that here it should be something failed to delete book now let's say that we have successfully deleted that so we are going to set our session flash message so session let's say set 
underscore flash data and inside this success key let's say that book has been deleted successfully else inside this else block again we are going to define a session and this should be set underscore flash data and inside here we are going to specify about the error key and let's say field to delete book now these are the session messages actually we have set after deleting we are going to return over the same view file so we are going to use called the redirect function so let's redirect and inside this I am to specify the route and the route is something for the listing books so book list books go here and pasting it here because after deleting any record actually we are to reload the same page so this should be route so back to our code editor successfully we have done that so if we save all these changes save this route as well now go to list books now inside this file right now there is no code for actually accessing or printing about the messages of flash so we have to do to code about our session messages so if we go to our create book view file now inside this file actually we have coded to collect our session messages and this is something like here so if I copy this code to save our time and let's say that I'm going to print that message after list all books now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page now let's click on this delete button so before clicking on this delete button if I click on inspect to see that what is going behind behind the screen so go to console now we have two er errors so this is all about not finding about the icons of this sorting over data table header so don't worry at all now I'm going to click on this delete button about this first row book one details so click on this now as we can see that we have successfully deleted our first record and as we can see here about the flash messages as well. Again the same thing we will try with this book 6. Let's click on delete button. Now the book 6 has been deleted from this list. Now next we are going to enhance the level of this delete operation what basically we want we want that while clicking on this delete button we are asking for the confirmation so before taking confirmation actually we have to operate our function so back to our code editor now inside this list books.php view file I am to make use of a javascript function and let's say here let's write about on click event and here let's return something confirm and inside this I'm to use let's r you sure want to delete so this is the confirmation box actually we are we want to open when clicking on this button after taking about the ok confirmation then we will delete that record so save all these changes back to browser reload this page now let's say that I'm to click on this fifth number record means book 5 details click on delete button now as we can see that we have now a confirmation this is the confirmation actually we have developed while binding about this on click event on this anchor tag back to browser now if we press cancel nothing happens still there is fifth number record we have inside this listing so again click on this delete button now this time when I press ok button so it deleted that data from this table so successfully guys inside this video actually we have implemented about the delete op operation about over listing all books so let's create one more book inside this listing so let's say book number 101 let's say author something 101 it should be publication itself 101 and sample description means sample text it should be 101 so if I press submit book has been created successfully go to list all books now here is the detail if we want to edit so click on that so let's say book 101 updated click on submit 
book has been updated go to list all books and as we can see that this is the updated information so if you want to delete click on delete button ok now the book has been deleted so all the basic CRUD operations means create read update and the delete all we have integrated inside this modular wise section so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.